This update, the Monkey Island update, is not just a tall tale. It's a new thing to do, as a tall tale, but if you look closely, there is much more to it. It's the beginning of much greater things and features that will drastically change and improve Sea of Thieves. In fact, it happened before, many times, and it will happen again. Hidden features, allow me to explain. But before we begin, this video shows footage from the Monkey Island Tall Tales. So if you haven't completed it yet and want to avoid spoilers, I'll see you after. And a special thanks to my supporters on Patreon. Pause here, sit back, relax, and enjoy. In Legend of Monkey Island, the number of features it introduces is much more than what Pirate's Life has to offer. Let's start with the docks. There's a sunken shipment where we had to use a crane to lift it up, pry it open with a hammer that we found in the prison, and then deliver the merchant items to the merchant. If you look closely, it is a merchant quest. Perhaps we get some updates to merchants, where we can use a crane to lift sunken shipments by shorelines. Not to forget, the game has had a crane since the earliest days of Sea of Thieves by every single shipwright. Maybe now is the time to use it. After that, we had cooking. We had to create a whole meal with a special effect for the piranha poodles. Even though cooking in Sea of Thieves is simple, this is an opportunity to bring buffs like underwater breathing or curse immunity by mixing some ingredients. Or perhaps a shark repellent where you can swim to the nearest tuck spot without having all the Megalodon's grandchildren charging at you. Also, I know this is not in the first Monkey Island tall tale, but since it's in the trailer, we might as well mention the zipline. We have ugly, gigantic islands like the infamous Old Faithful Isle. And sometimes we jump down and eat food instead of running down. Pretty sure the zipline will make its way to larger islands to make things more convenient. Just like all the ladders they added to Thieves Haven, we're always looking for ways to improve our island navigation. And I can prove this is coming. Based on the Xbox Wire article, the mechanics we've created for Legend of Monkey Island will share technology to the main sandbox. This has always been the case with Tall Tales. Even back in April 2019, traps from the shores of gold are now in Thieves Haven, Sailor's Bounty, and much more. Now with these features in mind, there's more technology related stuff coming. The game incorporates technology technology enhancements, including AI pathing for NPC characters and a revamped NPC dialogue system with full voiceovers, creating engaging conversations with NPCs. Every character in the tall tale is fully voiced, making it more immersive. Also, some NPCs run and move around, including when you give Murray a body. He walks around and talks to you, especially after the LeChuck encounter and his crew attacks, the town is abandoned. All NPCs in Sandbox has always been static, except back in the Cursed Sales event and the Golden Sands adventure. They usually never move Move and never even take a shift break. This mechanic can finally bring more life to outposts, meaning that during the night and daytimes, NPCs could change, giving us much more alive and dynamic world. Or maybe that's why sovereigns were introduced in the first place, to sell if your NPC is not a location. Maybe we can get to sell there as an uncaptain ship at a lower rate. Now to go to my favorite, these fire gummies were inserted in the locks. After that, we used a fuse to ignite them and blow up the gates. Freeing Otis. How nice is that? Imagine we can set traps to blow up ships from a distance. This feature here is more sea of thievery than anything I have seen. Just like how the trident was introduced in Pirate's Life, perhaps this will come to the real world. It is a weapon, which means this will also bring us LeChuck's crew, the skeleton ghost blue looking mobs. Since they only die from these bubbles, we will get these bottles if they make it to the sandbox world. I honestly prefer these guys way more than phantoms. But now, for the most important question of all. We have skeleton mobs in Sea of Thieves that eventually gave us the skeleton curse. We also have phantoms that also gave us a similar Athena's blessing. We have Belle and Mysterious Stranger that gave us the legendary curse. Which means, will we be getting this as a curse? Will it be the final reward? after completing all three tall tales? I highly doubt it will be that soon, but I surely hope so at some point. Or maybe, just maybe, Season 10 will be launched with a third tall tale, so all these features can be updated to the adventure world. We are nearing 200,000 on the channel, so please subscribe to stay updated on everything Sea of Thieves. And if I missed any features from the tall tales, please let me know in the comments below. Fuzzy here, happy sailing.